So the question is, how are Buddhist traditions represented in, in Buddhist art? Uh, you know, it seems kind of obvious, it seems almost unnecessary, but we, we really do have three different traditions that are, that are uh, carried through into uh, Tibetan Buddhism, Himalayan Buddhism. We have the, the foundational Buddhism, uh, Theravadan um, in Tibetan called the, the Tekpa Membar, the Hinayana. Then we have the Mahayana and we have the Vajrayana. So is there any distinction? I mean, how do you tell these uh, different three different streams apart or, or, or can't you? I th it's, it's a very interesting question. And it is handled in a, in a kind of curious way. What we have for representing uh, foundational Buddhism is, is what I'm calling the, the Theravada and the Sarvastivada and all the, the early um, kind of uh, sutra, vinya, monastic traditions. What we have is we have some main figures. And of course, the most important and the one everybody knows is Shakyamuni Buddha, the historical Buddha. And how... So, so he's always representing uh, our original Buddhism, but along with him, what we have are we have we have the sixteen great elders, and in a in a painted composition, a single painted composition, or we have a set of paintings depicting these Shakyamuni Buddha sixteen elders. But more importantly, immediately next to Shakyamuni, we have Shariputra and Modgalyayana. These are the two principal students of the Buddha, so they're actually much more important than the sixteen elders. The elders are um, are actually in Tibet in the Tibetan system are staviras in uh, Sanskrit language. In Chinese, they're most often called arhats, um, and often in Western art, they're called uh, the sixteen arhats. But in the Tibetan tradition, they're staviras, and uh, and basically they're elders. Okay, so we have the Buddha, we have the two principal students, we have the sixteen elders. We have uh, a, a patron and we have a servant, uh, Hashang and Dharmatala, and we have the four guardian kings. Okay, these are represented very commonly in temples, in murals, uh, scrollwork paintings, a sculpture, and this really represents in the in the Himalayan Tibetan system. This represents the the the, the Hinayana, the the original Buddhism. Now. Along with this, we can also have the narratives of the Buddha's life story, the Buddha's uh, previous lives, often as animals in the Jataka tales, and then we have the Avadanas, the stories of his previous life and the previous lives of uh, his principal students. So in art, this is what you have, depictions of Shakyamuni, depictions of these, these 16 elders and a few other, other characters. And then you have the, the, the stories of, of the Buddha's life and previous lives. This is really it for, for, for the, the uh, foundational Buddhism. Occasionally in art, you will find the original patriarchs, the, the, the lineage of descent from the Buddha. And very occasionally in paintings, you will find lineages of uh, the Vinaya, the monastic uh, uh, system. You'll have a, a lineage of who the main abbots were for a particular system, such as the Sarvastivadin or the, the later Shakyashri Bhadra system of, uh, of a monastic ordination. So this is basically how Hinayana foundational Buddhism is represented in Himalayan art.